pharma companies got mm. involved and started producing synthetic mm. versions of vitamin E, specifically the uh, the esters, such as tocopheryl acetate, tocopheryl palmitate. Um, they also hit, they had racemic versions, the dextro and the level uh, kind. Only the dextro uh, isomer of the tocopherols is active. Um, so if you go to the any kind of a grocery store and buy the cheapest version of vitamin E possible. Actually, it doesn't have to be the cheapest, but if you reach for a random vitamin E product, chances are that it's going to have not only a mix of a racemic mix of DNL isomers, but also it's going to be an ester. So it, most most often the the uh, acetate. And uh, multiple studies have demonstrated that uh, uh, acetate has only about fifty percent of the of the activity of the real of the dextro version. I'm sorry, of the non-esterified. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at that, also the of the DNL or racemic mix, only half of that getting is active. So half of half equals yeah, a quarter. Yeah. So you're going to be getting only a quarter of the real vitamin E that you actually that your body needs.